Yo guys, what's up? Now that you made your Facebook business manager and your ad account, it's time to build your Facebook pixel so that you can begin collecting data. And I'm going to show you how to connect that pixel to your Shopify store and we're going to get your domain verified. So this is a whole tutorial. Watch the whole thing through and like this video if it helps you out, guys. Subscribe to the channel if this video helps you out. If you want to scale your ads on Facebook and you're having a little bit of trouble and you want to fast track your success, my students are getting 20K months, 40K months, and even 2K days just by following this media buying sheet along with my one-on-one -on -one guidance so if you're looking to scale your facebook ads and you're struggling click the link down below and you can see if you qualify for the program and if you do let's start freaking crushing facebook ads together so first things first what do i use a facebook pixel for your pixel is just a snippet of code that's going to be placed onto your website and it allows you to collect customer data and then you could start tracking kpis like link clicks add to carts purchases and you're building up data you're going to be able to use this data guys to optimize your ads retarget audiences and create lookalikes and Facebook's smart so every time you get a purchase Facebook is going to learn your customer a little more your CPA your cost per acquisition should lower if you are targeting people right and you're building data correctly first thing we're going to do is create your pixel in Shopify we're going to add the Facebook sales channel to your store and then we're going to connect your Facebook account your business manager your ad account associated with your store same with your Facebook page and then from there we're going to enable customer data sharing to the maximum select your Facebook target country mine's going to be USA we're we're gonna accept the terms and conditions and I'm gonna show you guys a walkthrough. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do to install your pixel is click on online store. And then from there, you're gonna go into your preferences on the left-hand side. After you do that, you're gonna scroll down to where it says Facebook Pixel and you're gonna click Setup Pixel. Now we're in the Facebook sales channel and we're gonna add it. And then once you add the Facebook sales channel, you're gonna connect to your account and that should be your personal Facebook account first. You're gonna click OK after it's connected. Once you do that, you're gonna connect the business manager that you use for your Shopify store. After you add in your ad account, what you're gonna do is update the payment details for that ad account, if not done already. Now after that, just throw in your Facebook page that you're using for your Shopify store and then after you do that you're going to go into data sharing and you're going to set it to maximum go to your facebook target country and put in united states because i'm from the u.s and that's who i want to target but if you're from united kingdom and you want to target people from there you can do united kingdom after that just finish the setup you should be good your facebook pixel should be attached to your shopify store after you guys added in your pixel to your shopify store go over to the settings and you just want to look down here where it says share data just make sure and double check it's set to maximum okay and since we just updated the customer sharing data to maximum we need to update and reflect this on our privacy policy so we're going to go to the privacy policy in our shopify settings and we're going to add this script to the bottom of the personal information we collect section this personal information we collect look for that text within the privacy policy and right under it we're going to add in this script additionally brand's name collects this whole thing we're going to add it right under personal information we collect after we do that we're going to verify our domain now why do we verify our domain on Facebook. After installing your Facebook Pixel, you're going to verify your domain because it allows you to set up aggregated event measurements. What does that do? It prioritizes up to eight conversion events, which is helpful for improving conversion optimization. So we're going to be able to optimize and prioritize for purchases. So you're going to see a reduced data reporting for people using iOS devices only for off-platform data. So for purchases, you're going to see less data. For add to carts, you're going to see less data on Facebook than the add to carts you actually get on Shopify. Why? Because iOS made an update and basically counteracts Facebook KPIs. Now, the good thing is all on-platform data on Facebook are all tracked. So link clicks, video views, Facebook engagements, Instagram engagements, those are 100% tracked and there are ways to counteract the reduced data reporting. We'll get to that in a later video. So verifying your domain is super important and this is how to do it. Later on, I'm going to show you a walkthrough right after. So go to Facebook Business Manager your settings go into the brand safety tab domains click the add button enter your domain into the field and then you're going to click add domain after adding your domain just refresh the page now you need to verify your domain i use dns verification to verify my domain always okay so from facebook first things first we're going to go into your business settings and then you're going to go down into brand safety and you're going to click on your domains okay from your domains tab just hit add and then you're going to type in your domain name and then you're going to add the domain this is adding our domain into facebook 
Facebook, right? Now we want to verify it. So after you add in your domain, just refresh this page right here. So now that we got that screen, we're going to verify your domain through DNS verification. We're going to copy the TXT record and we're going to input it in our DNS configuration settings in Shopify. So go to Shopify, go to online store domains, click manage next to your primary domain. In the right hand side, you're going to click DNS settings and you're going to click add custom record. And then we're going to add a TXT record under where it says the name, enter the at symbol only under TXT value, paste the TXT record that Facebook supplied us with, and then click the confirm button. Let's do the walkthrough. So you're going to copy this TXT record to your clipboard, and then you're going to go over to Shopify. Now that you're in Shopify, you're going to click over to your domains. Once you're on domains tab, go to your domain and click manage next to the domain you want to use for the website you want to verify. On the top right, click DNS settings. After you click on DNS settings, you are going to add a custom record, which is going to be a TXT record. And then you're going to go back over to Facebook and where it says the TXT record, it has that link that you want to copy. You want to copy this and you want to paste it back into the TXT value in Shopify. And under name, you want to just put the at symbol and then copy the Facebook record under TXT value. Now you're going to finish verifying your domain. After successfully adding the TXT record, head back to Facebook and just click verify. Keep in mind, it might take a few minutes for the servers to communicate and successfully verify your domain. And if you've done this correctly, you'll see the green check mark appear and Facebook should say your domain is verified. In the next video, guys, we'll set up your aggregated event measurements. But for now, some action items. All you got to do is add the Facebook sales channel on your Shopify store, create your pixel and then verify your domain. Guys, if this video helped you out, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be dropping more videos about drop shipping and about e-commerce. I want to help each and every one of you get to a seven figure brand. Okay, guys, I love you. I will see you in the next one.